Rugby has changed. That's what Tom Young said when his teammate Will Spencer was sent off on the weekend against Wasps for a dangerous tackle. We're going to get into it now and look at has rugby gone soft. This is Biss Rugby. Make sure to get involved in the comments down below. Like and subscribe. Let's do this. So what we're going to do today, we are going to be looking at the laws of World Rugby. These are the official laws that were um, redone in May 2018. It is now September 2018. So we're going to look at these laws and see what it says about tackling and foul play. If you want to go check out the laws for yourself, there will be a link in the description to them so you can check them out for yourself. So the example we're using, of course, is the Will Spencer tackle, which got him a red card in the game against Wasps for Leicester, who's sent off by Ian Tempest, the uh, referee, and now has been banned for four weeks. So he won't be available until October the 16th, I believe. Now let's have a look at this section. So if you are on the website, go to section of foul play. And we're going to go from number 12 onwards. This is what it says about tackling and how it's deemed a foul. So, number 12 says this. A player must not physically or verbally abuse anyone. Physical abuse includes, but is not limited to, biting, punching, contact with eye or eye area, or sticking or striking with the arm. So this talks about the eyes, of course, which is a very sensitive part of the body and you do not want to be making contact with that and striking with the arm. So punching or anything like that is straight away a foul play and deemed a red card. But what about tackling? Number 13. Now, this is more of a grey area and these are some of the issues which I believe that World Rugby needs to sort out pretty quickly. So, this is the first one. A player must not tackle an opponent early, late or dangerous. I think we understand dangerous, but early and late are the big issues for me. How do you define what is early and what is late? Of course, common sense says if it's 10 seconds late, obviously it's ridiculously late and it makes it a dangerous tackle. But what if the players two seconds afterwards, now they've already committed to the tackle, but the players ship the ball out quickly and hits them two seconds later. Is that late? Is that deemed a foul? Or is it deemed that he's committed to the tackle? I think that's something that World Rugby have not specified in these laws. What is deemed late or what is deemed early and what can then def therefore be deemed dangerous? Now dangerous includes these few things. Tackling an opponent above the line of the shoulder even if the tackle starts below the line of the shoulder. So obviously above the shoulder you're hitting the neck or you're hitting the head which is extremely dangerous and we've seen so many concussions over the past few months um, in rugby in general and it's really sad to see and it wrecks players careers. There was an interview on Scrum 5 if you watched it over the weekend which talked about this and a player whose career has now been ended and cannot do other things because of the effects of concussion. But the part that interests me here is this, if the tackle starts below the line of the shoulder, it's still a foul. And there's a big question in rugby, is what happens if a guy who is six foot seven, like Will Spencer, is trying to tackle his opponent? Six foot seven, how is he going to get down to that level? It's a really tough question. And also, if a player is starting low, he goes down low, and then comes back up quickly and he's had to adjust his body and the tackler catches him high because he's quickly changed his body positioning. How is the tackler meant to stop himself from putting in that high tackle or vice versa? It's really difficult to be able to change but again we're talking about player welfare so we have to be careful with it. Now we're going to go on to number 16 now which talks about charging at opponents. A player must not charge or knock down an opponent carrying the ball without attempting to grasp the player. So basically don't charge at players unless you're trying to tackle them which is quite obvious. But I think there's a bigger issue going on here, I really do. Is it an issue more to do with how we tackle and how we coach tackling in this country? And in rugby now, rugby is getting more physical. I don't believe it's getting more soft. I think the hits are getting harder. But I think the scrutiny on them and the, the penalisation on them is getting bigger. But in matches now, we're seeing players putting in really big high tackles. Not high tackles over the shoulder, but hitting them on the chest. Hitting man with the ball. And we see this a lot at the start of the game. Just to show intent and to show that they're there to make a difference. 
And I think it comes down to three things that really affect the decision the referee needs to make. The first is malice. What is the idea? Why is this player going in like this? Is he going with malice to try and hurt the opponent? Number two is motivation. Is there this motivation to try and hurt the player? Or is he there just at the start of the game to say, right, I'm here and you know I'm here because I've just hit you really hard. And then timing. How late is it? But then, then comes back to the question is, how do you define what is late? So as you can see, I do not have the answer. I'm sorry if that were what you were expecting on this video, but I do not have the answer. But there's a lot of questions there that World Rugby need to answer to. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you're a ref or a player yourself. Let me know in the comments below experiences you've experienced where laws are not clear enough or maybe they are clear and they've helped you. Let me know in the comments down below. Do subscribe, like the video and I'll see you again on Bis Rugby. Take care guys. Peace.